Hey, what's going on, you guys? We're here, Trey Jacobs at Max 180. We're going to cover a squat here. Um, we're going to cover actually a back squat, uh, and then we'll go over a front squat. So the back squat first. First, I want to uh, go over eye line. One of the misunderstandings that a lot of coaches tell their 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 athletes uh, is to look up. Okay. It, it makes sense, I guess, if you want to keep your, your back arse, keep you safe as you're going down to look up. However, what you're doing is you're compressing your cervical discs. Okay, So you want to keep your eye line neutral. Keep your chin in a place where you're looking probably right between your, your legs, actually, as you're going into your squat. Okay, Your toes slightly turned out. Slightly. Not all the way where your like, feet are wide like this and they turn this way. And really not straight either. So slightly turned out, not 45, a little bit less, I'd say about 20 degrees, 15 to 20 degrees. Okay, your positioning, get your hands in a place where you can support the bar, right across your shoulders, okay, lift the bar up. It should feel balanced, if it's not balanced, go ahead and realign, okay, step out into your place, get your feet aligned, and as you, hopefully you have a mirror in front of you so you can make sure that you're going down um, evenly, if you're cheating to one side, you'll see one leg is more linear than the other. So here we go, we're going down, we're going to go down slowly, keeping our eye line neutral, looking between our thighs, back down, and lifting it back up. Okay, going back down, arching your back, between your thighs, and back up. Notice that I'm not looking up like this, looking at the ceiling. Okay, it's not necessary. Don't look down the ground either, because then you'll have a tendency to round your back, which would be equally as bad, actually probably worse. So, looking between your legs, all right, butts back, 90 degrees, and back up. That is the safest way to do your squat, so you don't have to run into any issues later on. Another one, which is a front squat, Front squat, you want to keep your elbows past your shoulders. The bar goes across here, across the shoulder muscles, okay? Not really resting on your clavicle. Who wants to rest the bar on their bones, right? It's not going to feel good at all. So keep those arms up. Some will do it like this, okay? There's multiple ways you can do it. I like doing it like this, crossing your hands over, keeping my elbows up. The middle of the bar should be about neck height, lifting it up, step into position. Your feet are still in the same place. This should feel a little bit more natural for you um, as the bar is centered more in the center of your body. So as you're squatting down, keeping your core tight. There you go, keeping the pulling in your belly. One of the best ways to develop, to develop explosive power is do that front squat, get your core strong, develops way more core strength than a back squat. Try it out. I'm sure you'll love it. Great way to implement in, in, into any workout program if you're developing those legs. Let me know.